the crystals of creation have revealed themselves. Evils emerge across the multiverse. The armies of the abyss gather. The Underdark's plans are near fruition. Chaos erupts across all spheres, and darkness descends on the plains. Alliances are forged in blood. The gods move avatars like pawns on a board, and unlikely heroes emerge to thwart the unstoppable. But will it be enough before the material plane crumbles? The hopes rest in a group of wayward adventurers. The battle of the Outlands awaits. All right, so where did we last leave off? Well, our adventurers found themselves split up. Kurgan, Charles, Thord, and Intex survived the crash on the Parhalon and were deep inside the undercity of Ravnica. Jay was on board Belenac and discovered that Veraska was floating above his ship and landed on the deck. Face to face with Veraska, Jay tried to hold her back. She used her petrified gaze, but Sybil jumped in between and turned to stone. Out of key points, Jay tried to fend off the Galgari guildsmaster off, but fell to her blade. Timmy rushed to the teleporter and whisked the rest of Belenac's crew aboard. Vraska grabbed the spirit stone and tried to rush off the ship's wing, but with some timely rolls, the crew stopped her and defeated the planeswalker. Now on board their ship and getting some much needed sleep, our adventurers chose to head to Shard Sphere, where another crystal of creation has emerged. Will our adventurers make it to Eberron? Discover the new crystal of creation, or will this campaign end like season 8 of Game of Thrones? Only time will tell. And so we left you off. You guys are floating just above Ravnica. The You guys are on board. You guys all, there's breakfast and you guys are resting. What are you guys doing? Uh, Sybil's still turned to stone, right? Sybil is still turned to stone. She actually, right now you see Igor has picked her up and brought her to... The garden area and now timmy is over there to kind of directing igor where to put her in the garden area well uh i don't really talk to them i would probably go to toe walk of them you're like hey no matter what we gotta fucking get her fixed and, and back to normal because we've lost enough people already during all these shenanigans and missions yeah. Uh, is with you. Uh, he's right with everybody else right now, and he's he can't help her. He, I, he's there's only two things to help: a wish spell and a greater restoration. And I don't have any of those. Yeah, well, then, then we knew someone who could cast one of those there's spells. A, some sort of cleric or something who had access to mm. greater restoration. Yeah. Do you have access to greater restoration? I do, but I'd have to sleep. You slept. Everybody slept. Okay. Yep. Well, that solves my problem. Out of here, that's the one thing. Like, Texas has seen enough people die on their behalf uh, between Morgan and uh, uh, Torgan, the other guy. Yep. That they, they yeah, he ate her. In the middle of the night. And, yeah, and I, he, right. mm -hmm. she ate him. he doesn't want that fixed. So, okay, then he'll go over to oh, uh, Thor and like, be like, and slam on his door, like, hey, hey you awake in there? Uh, and you hear grumbles from the from inside. Well, when you get out, fucking fix the stone lady. She uh, we need to get that sorted first and foremost because uh, we've lost enough shit and lost enough people during this adventure. We need you to fucking fix that. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. So I guess Thornton will take his time getting ready. Okay. And he's getting ready. Uh, Jay, wh what's Jay doing here? Uh, Jay will <clears throat> check in with uh, Belenac. Um, uh, Belenac, um, did the crystal get stolen while we were sleeping? No, all of the crystals have remained in place. All right, good. Um, anything interesting happened while we were asleep? Not that I know of. Everything is very quiet. We are looking forward to heading out of this sphere as soon as possible. Well, uh, uh, 
what was it? We were headed to Eberron? You are heading to Shardsphere. It depends how fast we want to go, but it should take around two days. Alright. And Jay will strap in. Okay. So you're you're going to the helm, you're kind of the major helm. Kurgan, what are you doing? Um, I guess I'm just like waking up, I'm stretching, I'm uh, heading over to the breakfast table, just having something to eat and watching all this go down. And I'm just yep. thinking in the back of my mind about like um looking at the the great sword of the gruel that I've got with me. Mm -hmm. Looking down at Ravnica and just thinking. Yeah. Give me a perception check, please. Perception. All right. That's a total of 20. Oh, beautiful. So you are looking down at Ravnica and you see, even from this distance, there are several big clouds of smoke gathered all around Ravnica almost it, and you know from where you're at looking down that it, it's it must be huge if the smoke is reaching invisible from where you're at you you also uh hear rockard and he's like he is got a cup of ale in one hand and he is bragging he's like and jay fell to the ground but I jumped over him and I wouldn't let her tack him and I even swung and she hit me but she didn't take me down. If it wasn't for me, Jay would be dead. And everybody and everybody's like clapping and he's kind of demonstrating what he would what he did to save Jay. Now in real life it's been like two weeks since that happened. <laughs> yep. I don't think Rockard did any of that. Okay. Alright. Oh, he, he took he took a couple blows there. Yeah, no, he took one blow and somehow was still standing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that would have been actually Hex pretty the one impressive. who actually brought him back to life, but whatever. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just gonna... Tex is gonna let him have this. Yep. And, and, I'm just gonna speak yeah. up and say, fine. yeah, you uh, you took that hit pretty well. It was. It was amazing what I did, and if it wasn't for you guys getting so fast to her, I could have killed her at the very end, but it, it was fine. I had to stay back and make sure that everybody was safe on board. Yep, sure, that was it. All right, and uh, so Thornton, you get up on board, and you see that Sybil, who she is sort of, um, let's say she's... A druid in some cases, but she's she's you know who Wait, she is. Wait, she already out of stone then? Don't she she, she hasn't done it yet. He she, she's okay. in the garden and Timmy's with Igor. And Igor's like this troll. Or yeah. And he is his like right next to Timmy. And Timmy's kinda like got one hand on Sybil, and you can tell he's a little bit upset about this. What happened to her, lad? Well, she dived in front of Varaska as she was going to turn Jay to rock, and she took one, and she, she blocked it so Jay could survive, and she's a hero. If... A noble deed. Very much so. So Thoradin goes and puts his hands on her and uh, whispers hey, a watch prayer. Watch me grab it, man. <laughs> on her shoulders, in plain sight of everyone. <laughs> uh, whispers a prayer to Moradin and casts Greater Restoration. Is there any roll needed, or is it... It is just uh, a touch spell. Okay, and... These... Oh wait, actually... Actually, I can't cast it. I need a diamond, diamond dust worth at least 100 gold pieces. My bad, guys. And Timmy goes... Did you say a diamond dust? And he goes, and he goes into his suit jacket, and he pulls out a necklace, and he goes, here you go, opens it up, there's some diamond dust. Well, I'm not going to ask where you got that from. <laughs> it's best not to, I found. What? So, like, as this is going on, I'm just going to be asking, what actually constitutes dust? Does it have to be, like, 
a f really fine powder, or can it just be it like pebbles? What 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 does dust mean in terms of I don't know, man. You know, like diamond for spells? Like it is water wet? That's the sort of question you're asking here. Uh, it seems like it's fine grain, right? That's what I've always interpreted. Yeah, it as. it's got to be powder enough that you can blow it and it moves. I would say. Well, I mean, sort of like a it, sand. It, that really depends on your, your like lung capacity in that case. Like diamond <laughs> dust to a giant would just be, you know, diamond. Diamonds. I'd say yeah. each, each thing is about the size of a grain of sand. All right, all right. Well, there you go. Definitely grind it like... down, make it work. We should do an experiment. We we slowly have smaller and smaller pieces. Of I don't dust. know how much diamonds Until we have to experiment we see, with. We see now, which one the spell works this, at. For this experiment, all we really need to do is just just shave off little pieces of like just the diamonds that we're already using. Well, it's a hundred gold pieces per cast, so. That's true. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. We're here trying to just break it down diamonds until we get the appropriate level of spell casting here. You see, when the dust is one micron in diameter, spell doesn't work. But mm. if we go half that size... Meanwhile, Sybil's eyes are okay. rolling, rolling around in her statue. <laughs> I don't understand this whole... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I just had to ask Sybil. All right, let, let's, let's get this over with. Okay. Yeah, let's get her out of stone. He touches her and and whispers a prayer to Morden. Hey, what are you touching? Okay, so so <laughs> on the shoulder. What does it look like when you when you do this? So he grabs her shoulder. Tops a feel. <laughs> Jesus. Respectfully, <laughs> grabs her shoulder, and uh, bows his head and starts whispering uh, a small prayer. And a bright light appears, and then these cracks start to emerge from the stone. And the stone starts to slowly chip off, and Sybil falls to the ground, unconscious. And Timmy catches her a little bit, and then Igor helps out, and they carry her downstairs to her room. And Timmy, like, gives you a big hug, Thord, and says thank you so much. Uh, for nothing. All right. What else? What else is the crew doing here? Is Lee back in his room canonically here, or is he just still missing? You can go check if you want. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll... Go give it a quick knock because I haven't seen or heard from him in a while. So okay, you open the door and it's the same as it was before. There's just charred wood, and the only thing that seems to be untouched is the box. Mm, and that's there's definitely some lightning that was arcing around this place, but fuck if I know what to do. We make heads or tails of any of it. Uh... Shit. Well, I mean, he's a smart, strong dude. He'll figure a way back to us then. He knows roughly where we're going, so and he's magic. So I think that that all works out, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. As he tips his hat and goes out towards the rest of the galley, towards the rest of the crew. All right, and Jay, you were on the helm. What are you doing? Um, well, uh, I know we're going to the Shard Sphere, so I guess, um, Jay will go over the intercom. Strap it, everyone. I'm starting this bad boy up again. Got it. Strapping on. <laughs> hum. Oh, Jesus. Um, uh, and Jay yeah, will... Gonna... Oh, you can finish. Oh, Jay will uh, put five key points into it. Okay, who's on the wings? Jürgen was going to quickly uh, finish up his breakfast and then just move to one of the, the wings and just get ready to get mad at something for some reason. Okay, and so who's piloting... All right, so you're piloting. Who's got the other wing? 
not be nah. Tex. Uh, I can say <laughs> well, I we have. have um, see, does Igor yeah. look like a tough guy, like a big, strong guy? Yeah, he does. Yeah, we got Phil as well. He's a giant, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I think we can use uh, Igor, Phil. Yeah, Igor's pretty damn tough. He's yeah, got... well, man, the wings. I'll be there just to give him refreshment or whatever. All right, so he's. Got... Hey, Phil, if you manage to do this well, I'll get you a bottle of booze. Yeah, and. So you guys are getting ready to fly away. So you guys are in the Ravnica um, plane of existence. And as you head out of the plane of existence, there's like this sort of this artery in in between uh, all the different planes. And the planes are like a foggy, multicolored gas. And as you exit out of this gas... You're in this little artery system, and it takes you a while to make your way out of the sphere of Dominion Sphere. So could you guys, somebody roll me a 1d6, and I want to know how many hours it took you guys to navigate out of this sphere. Well, uh... Three. Okay. So it took you three hours to get out of this sphere and you guys which side are you getting out of the sphere you guys are you see where you're at here southeast right we can't mm-hmm. see what else is beyond us here but i see yeah we want to go so I, I can't yeah, tell if this is the faster way or if that is depends on that here. really here there you go well you looking at the like, oh god that's always so hard on the stomach right i there. need someone that's not jay to Roll me a perception, please, as you well, exit I've got the a, Dominion Sphere. I've got a plus six, so... I have eight. Yeah, I got a plus two. You've got a plus eight? Yeah. Go for it. Fucking cleric. <laughs> Natural one. Oh. <laughs> of course. Oh, there is nothing important. <laughs> there is no, nothing important. To, there is nothing important. <laughs> Can I try just to see if I would have gotten it? No, nope, yeah, no. Nope. Nope. <laughs> if you want to, you go ahead. I'm not going to stop you from rolling, but it's not going to okay, count. Okay, so this is a whole it's new not... day then, right? Okay, just want to make sure real quick. Out. It's the next morning. Okay, I would have gotten an 11. Okay, so... Ne- uh, two. No, I wouldn't have that. Uh, we're just regening certain slots and yeah, stuff no like problem. that. Yeah, no problem. So, uh, how many key points did you put in? Five. So that's five. Five, so that's twenty-five thousand or twenty-five hundred uh, miles that you could go in one hour. So let's go. Where is twenty-five? Well, how long am I piloting? Well, we're well, just going to do. It took us three hours to get right out of the sphere, didn't it? As you go past, there is a this or um this purple here is a Saragosso. And there's this, as you're passing by, there is this black cloud coming all, all to your left-hand side. And it's touching the river a little bit. And you have to roll, somebody roll me on the wing. I need a wing, please, to avoid this. And I'm looking for a 12. Is this a right, athletic is all you. This is a strength. No athletics. It's just strength. Okay, so just strength. So we need a 12? We need a 12. Uh, I'm either going you to... or Igor. Well, I'm just going to uh, rage so I have an advantage on mm-hmm. this. Go ahead. So let's hope I don't get uh, anything lower than an Double eight. net ones. Let's go. Oh, God, I got one nat one and a natural 17 for a total of 21. Ooh, okay. So this black cloud is entering the um, the flow, and you see it in the last minute because you guys are flying through this flow. And let me just talk to you about what the flaw just did is. Everything around you is, you know when oil kind of spills and it's got that multicolored sheen? That's what all the gas looks like. But the, the flow rivers are this condensed version of this. And it just like, it's going fast. So when you're on it and you ha- it gives you a little bit of boost, 
So almost like times 10 of whatever you're doing out of this. So when you get into this flow, you are just like zooming along. It just like gives you a boost. But on top of that, it's there's things in the flow. So you got to avoid. So you got to be on your toes. And you dip by there and you can give me another two hours. So that would be 50,000. 50,000 or 5,000? 5,000, no, 5, 5, 5, 5, sorry. And you guys are now, uh, what is this? This is, it, now give me a 1D6, uh, please, for hours. And you already did that. like three, so this is getting, you can't, actually, this is getting towards the end of what you can do here. Six hours. So yeah, you're on the very tail end here, uh, and you have to get off this tunnel. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, so, we'll all right. Pop off. Yep. And Thord and I mean, um, and Toak, he gets on the minor helm. He can only go for um. He can only to put in four key points, but he says we need air. And I know we left the air planet, but that didn't give. We didn't stay long we enough. Didn't, we didn't stock up before we left. It's uh, it, uh, this thing only takes one. Like we're we're gonna need pretty soon to find a place because we're using the air in the ship. You can stock up, but that's it. Like once we breathe the yeah, in and out, we're going to lose air. So pretty soon we are going to need to find some air uh, at the end of my shift here. So just letting you know, so he can go. Uh, there's 2000 miles. So, Move the ship 2,000 miles. Let's see here. Oh, wow. So fast. 2,000. Freaking 2,000? Uh, man, zoom. 2,000. Wow. All right. And as you guys make it to this spot, there is a traffic jam coming up. I mean, huge traffic jam. And... Is it rush hour? Yeah, it kind of seems like it, right? <laughs> So, rush hour, we're going to suffocate if we stay here too long. Can okay. Rush hour. So, hey, just, I recognize this map. Hey, you guys know this map, right? So, I mean, he sees it up ahead, and he's able to put in enough, key, uh, enough um, spell slots to slow down the ship. And now you are, to the left of you, is a bunch of merchant wagons. And to the right of you is uh seems to be like a double decker bus <laughs> what are you guys doing it's like stopped traffic uh now that right is double decker bus now that... out the whole... sorry jay go, right. go. uh it, can jay once he's since he's not off not on the helm can jay see like what might be the issue is there like someone breakdown up ahead is there an accident um, from you, where you're at, you cannot see but nothing but other, like, ships um, around you. You can't can, see Can anything. Jay use the ship's drone, or whatever it's called? I mean, you don't have a drone, but you... We have, uh, a, the frickin' thingamajig, the telescope. Yes. That's the one. Okay, sure. There's a pretty big difference between a drone and a telescope. Well, it shoots out an arcane eye, so that's why I call it yes. the drone. So where do you uh, want it on the map? Yes. Um, I don't know where. where Which way are we trying to map? go? Like, you south are here. We're going that way. Which you're going down. Way? You're going. You're going down that way. Okay, then I'll oh, yeah. shoot it out down and figure out what's going on. All right. So you shoot. Then accident on the four hundred five. All right. So you. You shoot it down this way, and it's just more traffic. Yeah. Well, it'll keep going until someone nudges me. I'll just keep it, keep it going until we see the end of this traffic. And you see that there is a bunch of alithid ships that have blockaded the flow, and are searching ships as they're going through this flow. All right. Cool. Um. I'm going to go stealth mode and punch out and around, and I can run the invisibility. 
Jay will wipe um, some blood off his nose at the thought of going back in that hell. Uh, but ugh. yeah, um, you have one point of exhaustion from from all this. I have so, one point of exhaustion. Ooh. Um, but that when talk to him, I thought he took like a chance to rest. Or I misunderstood. No, it. because Toak got on board and he went for um, four hours, so he had four hours. Not he had a, actually he had a short rest. Yeah, I have a short rest, but hey, if I have a short rest, it gives me my key points back. Yeah. Toa's like, what do you guys want to do here? There's a bunch of lithid up there. Uh, Jay just. We don't want to fucking go talk to him. Let's get around him and get out of here. Um, I can talk. You still got spell slots left? I'm full. I'm. I got four. I got four more. I get mean. All right. Which way do you right, want to go? I got my do two. We, uh, I don't want to stay in this flow. Total legitimate demon magic. Would that work, or is the rest of my stuff interfere with it still? Uh, yeah, you the, you have wild magic in in you, so like they're not gonna allow you to get in the ship. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Just wanted to ask. Uh, Tex got the invisibility orb. Uh, I'm gonna punch it. You're you're going through. Sounds good. Uh. You're, we can't. So we can like we can't punch it. There's a traffic jam everywhere. We're we're gonna slam into all these ships. We'll leave the flaw just sent. We'll still right. move fast while invisible. Yeah. Hold so. on, maneuver. All right. So which way are you going? Um, Jay is going to um ask everyone, even if like Jay wants anyone who can be on the wings to be on the wings, uh, even if you're not good, just to give advantage. Because Jay's about to do some nonsense. So once they go invisible... Yeah. Uh, so as soon as we go invisible, Jay is going to... Um, we're going to go west. We're going to go first. But before we do anything, uh, Jay would like to use Arcana to scout out things going west. You can... Okay. So where are just you Just to make sure that we're... Uh, that direction. Just so we, um, when we get out of the flash, we're not going to immediately run into a rock. Like that rock right there. Like that uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, and just to be clear, how many key point? How many feet per key point? Uh, I think you said it was two thousand five hundred feet. Five hundred for every key point. Every so it's five hundred feet for every out of the phlogiston, and five hundred miles in the phlogiston. In the okay. Oh. So it just changed from I... feet to. F- it makes it easier. I'm. I'll put. Three. Uh, well, if we're going invisible, I'll put two key points in, so we're not going crazy with it. Don't forget, Toox. Like we got to get air too. So like we're running out of air. Oh, blockade won't give us. Mark, you expect us to get air? We're in the middle of a fucking traffic jam. So Jay is going There's to move. We maybe like steal air from their ships. How many key points you thinking about there. that? But I want to hurt anybody. Two, two whole key points. All right. So. We're not needing to put in the other eight for speed yet, as much as I'd love to. Boom. We are, um, I think we are just a jet made of paper, oh is how we describe the ship. I see something right there. Oh, yeah, what, what is that, actually? Is that... Huh? That's part of the map. I'm seeing some things right here, and I'm, uh, I'm not liking what I'm seeing. Um... Same. See right No, that's not part of the map. Yep. So you see what you're seeing right there is some like a uh, floating like insects are floating by, pretty ignoring you because you're you're hidden, and you're invisible. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. Well, Can we somehow steal their air. <laughs> um. How do we oh, harvest air? Do we air? just land somewhere? Yeah, you got to be. On a rock somewhere, or some um, big something bigger, like big that has its own atmosphere. So that thing up there would that give us uh, air? Sure. Um, Jay what do you will... mean? Sure, you said that too easily. Well, it's like, is it big enough? If it has air, would it give us air? If it has air, it would give you air. Yes. Okay. Does it have air? Jay will um, no, no, no. like to ask. Uh, you could see to... it. Bank North. All right, I need somebody to roll me a strength check on the wing. Looking for a 10. That's it. Uh, right. It's going to be Phil and Igor on one wing and 
Kurgan and Rocker don't have nothing. Okay, with advantage, you don't need to rage. Wait. With advantage, that's a t another natural 20. Oh, oh. All right. oh he's a Wherever gamer. want to go. Um, well, uh, he wants to s swoop by, like, over here, um, to swoop by and check this, uh, rock out. As we kind of, he wants to, like, do a big, yeah, do a big circle of it, and, uh, if he coasts around it, see if it seems like it has air. Alright. Well, you move in some more. Um, well, uh, one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So basically, ten would bring us like all the way around. He's with, Jay did a big circle. Yep. I need another. Well, you can use that twenty. It's fine. You do a big circle. Because I have to move the ten spaces. So big circle. Yep. Big circle. Okay. Uh, this thing looks like it got air. Yeah. Looks like it. Come How on. long does it take to? Um, uh, it's probably gonna take you a couple hours for sure. How much air do we currently have on the ship? Uh, How it's much getting low. You probably have another two hours worth. But you're saying it would take a couple hours to get the air from this rock, right? Yeah. Yep. You could wait out the ambush here. The uh, this the the what's it called? Checkpoint. Yeah, the what do you guys think last... about? Uh, the invisibility cloak only lasts once a day and for an hour. If they decide to investigate us, who knows? Well, we're currently behind the rock right now. If we can position ourselves there, um, stay out of their sight. From what I saw of the Ithalid ships, they just seemed to be waiting at that checkpoint. They weren't like scouting around, right? They were checking ships as they're going through, and letting only a couple through and not in searching ships. All right. Um, Jay will attempt to park on this side, on the northern side. As we All right. Start. I need a strength check. It's land, It's parking, so it's going to be harder. I'm looking for a 15. Uh, do you want Igor and Phil to make one or no? Um, no, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, Good boy. I mean, I could make well, Igor make one. It's the same role. Yeah, that, holy god, is a plus four to strike? Yeah, I've got a plus four to strike. I'm a barbarian. What do you expect? No, I'm talking about Igor. <laughs> oh, he's got a plus four to strength? Go. Yo. Yeah, Igor's what is he, strong. barbarian? He's a giant. A literal giant. Well, fair enough. Okay. Yeah, you, yeah, you make it, Kurgan. Okay. Same role, so we might as well be able to blame you, right? With advantage. Yeah, right. Because you're being helped. Damn it, only a natural 19. Aww. Aww. Such a shame. Okay, not bad. Total you of guys 23. Were able to land. All right, and you guys have some downtime here. Uh, what are you guys doing? Uh, day is gonna collapse Jay, and fall asleep. You, yeah, you need to. <laughs> you need to sleep. So, He's just gonna go to his room and not even meditate. Just Thornton, Thornton, are you with, with us? All right. So he, he, when he comes back, I got some uh, text. What are you doing? Well, shit. I was gonna go talk to Thornton and ask him about his whole situation with his god. But if he's not here, that's not really gonna work. Do you have uh, a moment to talk about your Lord and Savior? Yeah. Exactly. In fact, the uh, great and powerful Steve. You know. Uh, <laughs> no. I'll, so I'll um. Take, yeah. Oh, yeah what is a. Uh, who is it? Uh, what's it, what's your guy's name again? Steve. No, not Steve. Jack Daniels. No, uh, Ivan. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd Ivan's like, yeah. dude, text. We need to talk. What's up? Like, we need to formulate a plan. We need to figure out how to get the the Rakdos into Wild Space. Right now, you're going to be in charge of the Rakdos in Wild Space, and all we have is Phil. It's not really, you know, at the Yeah, it's not really a fleet. So what is your idea? Alright, okay. They get ships, and they get into wild space. Yeah, I know, but, like, what ship will they be able to find on Ravnica? There's not, like, some giant ship that they can just 
locate and that's crashed I mean, there in the is, middle there of... There is, there is a, there is a giant ship that's crashed in the middle of everything. Yeah, where? Like, th these things don't happen, these, these flying ships. No, the one that we found the, the shard on, the one that used to be the, um, uh, what the fuck are they called? You're talking. Pahalon? Yeah. Yeah, the part we of it's, exactly it's our... It's, we better hurry up we and know get where on it is. this. We, yeah, we know where it's at right now, and Veraska's dead. If we... Yep. There's a rush to... Now you're thinking, so what do we do? Uh... That's what I'm thinking. Uh, That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> You see all two of Texas' brain cells realize. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you <laughs> yeah. see them before you left. Igor's like, great plan. So we need to figure out how to contact the people down there. And how are we going to do that? Does our does our messaging on our ship go there? Work. Uh, it works between plans of existence. Yeah, yeah, it'll go there. But it's sending. Well, that works then. Okay. I, can, uh, I can shoot a message to uh uh. You know, you know her. Uh, no, what's her who tits? Is it? What's her uh, name? Give me a sec. Give me a second. I have it here. I'm looking through the notes. Uh, you know what's her tits? Um, yeah, Haka not Haka Hakara. Oh, Hakara, right? Yeah. It's mad. Yeah. yeah I so mean, like, she she she's crafty enough. She's she. Okay. So. No, sir. All right. So. You... Go to the message orb. We gotta get on this. Get to the message orb and send it out. We gotta get yeah, on. Yeah, I mean this. we're not doing any fucking else. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, uh, hello, uh, Carl. This is Tex. Uh, do you copy? Over. Oh, I see. You're you've, you're still alive. Where where are you about in Ravnica? Longer in Ravnica. We're sort of uh outside the plains. Uh, but do we have a special situation for you? I'm all horns. <laughs> That's me with your mom last night. Oh, Jesus. Can I, I can't hang this up. What's going on? What do you want? So, okay. So, you, you remember that giant ship that apparently crashed in Ravnica ages back? No. The Parhalon? Parthenon? Par, 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 oh, par, oh, Parmesan? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, the I've Parmesan. That. that was a long yeah. time ago. What about it? I happen to know its location. Okay. Where is it? It's, uh... And I communicate the place where it was crashed at because <laughs> I wasn't there when we actually found it. Um, <laughs> you, I'm gonna make, like in the middle of make you center. roll this. <laughs> um, and... Shit. I'm gonna... It's, like a history check or something? Yeah, no, don't say good. history! No, it is definitely... Um, I'll let you choose. It's either going to be an intelligence or it's going to be a history. Both of the same. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and no intelligence is at, oh and my wait, god. Plus D4. Uh, it is a 17. <laughs> that's exactly what you needed. It was actually it was going to go. It, it's 16. right at that spot. It's like you can't hang a left and you got to take a little loop around. It's thing. You know what I'm talking about, right? And I like described the spot. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, she's like, okay, we'll we'll send our. We'll send our troops out there. We'll secure the ship, and we'll get back to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and now, getting getting to the fucking spears as your commander. Oh, that feels good to say, don't it? Uh, you're not my <laughs> commander. You you you're second in command in wild space. I'm so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, so who's first command is the other guy. Rakdos. So you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, it's Rakdos. First command's Rakdos. And then after that is me. So therefore, I am higher. Right. Let's get the thing done. I'm hooking you up here with a fucking six spaceship that was literally abandoned for centuries by people. Not like... It's high-tech shit. Tech's over and out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, Kurigan. What are, you, what are you doing here? I can't believe Tex Parther is the second in command of the Rakdos. <laughs> um, we, wouldn't trust right? him in, we wouldn't entrust him in charge of a farm back home, and we've given him one of the worst clans ever to just... God, <laughs> yeah. it's gonna be a mess. So Pretty, pretty, pretty much. Are, are you still by the Ray wing? Swore. Ray swore, Ray swore, Ray. Uh, I guess I'm, like, just hanging out by the... 
the wing, looking at my... Give me a perception dis- check. Stuff. Okay, sure, perception check. I would also say that I'm just... Uh, that's a total of 22. Oh. I would also say I'm just, like, examining the Vraska head that I just have with me still. Yeah. All right. You getting some head? Oh, my God. And... Sorry, I wouldn't be see... doing that on the wing. No. No. Well, man, I don't judge. You see this massive asteroid off to the distance and it's slowly rotating and as it rotates around you notice that it is carved and it looks like this oh is he pondering his orb (laughs) that's one handsome looking rock and thordon you are you are there as well. Why is this thing not doing that? This is like a temple on the actual, there on the is. rock we're on right now. Thordon, you no, this recognize this. No, this is an asteroid. This, this oh, is a dwarven vessel. And hey, not guys, only this is, is it a dwarven a, vessel. And it's also one that worships Morden. It's almost like a church vessel. Oh, shit. He's my people. Yeah. And something seems off. The ship seems lifeless, like it's adrift. Oh god. Mines of Moria right here. They uh. flew too far. They <laughs> dug too deep. <laughs> Drums. <laughs> um So how close are we to this? Um it's pretty it's it's a good distance. It's probably about 500 feet. I just brought it closer to you. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so it's like that way then? It's probably like right there. there. I can't see that. I know, I got you. you. Can you take us to that ship? I'm clearly going to point that out to everyone. Yeah. (laughs) Well, Thor didn't see it. That is uh, that is not the rock. It's just a ship on the rock? It is a ship ship made of rock. No, that's a ship. That is a rock. It's uh, and pretty metal. Thordon, so... No, what, it's actually stone. You, oh, you've <laughs> lived in wild space. So what dwarven vessels do is they take these asteroids and they build a helm. And the helm is actually they, the anvil. And they kind of make mineral of good... They use the, me, uh, the materials from the asteroid that they're mining. And they use the forge, and the forge is what powers the ship. Mm. So the helm of the ship is a, is an actual helm. It's an actual forge. It's like the anvil. Yeah. So that for so many fun. Temples, religious, what? <laughs> so what are you guys doing? Uh, we have to investigate. Tanks yet? We like. Tell- suspend ourselves over to it like a like a roof thing astronaut spacewalk it it's 500 feet i don't know it's pretty far and it's rotating around it doesn't seem pretty wise to like texas dumb dumber shit that's yeah, true <laughs> so what are we doing talks like hey man i i have enough power to juice to get you get over there if you guys want okay it should be have though. we gotten I was gonna say, like, Tex is still in, like, the calm room, probably talking the to the thing guy is, at this point, so I haven't goes, heard I, yet. I'm sorry, Tex, what did you say? I was saying, I, I'm still in the calm room talking to uh, Hikara yeah. about the Rakdos situation, so I, I'm not part of this. I'm yeah, sorry. so, Tex, like, so well, that, that rock's pretty big, too. I think if we go over there, we could steal some of the air over there as well, so it's up to you guys. So we investigate. All right, Toak gets in. I need, uh... I need a wing check, please, as he powers it over. Just looking for a for your landing, so that's going to be a little harder. So I'm looking for a 13. All right, I still have advantage because it's me and Ockard, is yep. it? Yes. All right. Damn it, a natural 19. Nice. What you've been getting insanely I lucky. Know. Good luck. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna, gonna get, really like, bite us in the ass later. Not natural. <laughs> Can't wait to see eight national ones in a row in this combat. All right. Yeah. So you make it over to this 
dwarven it's, it's called vessel and it's dark inside like all the lights are dark the entrance of it is the mouth of this face um, instead of an axe that it shows there it's actually a hammer and you guys land the vessel right right, right up to it your vessel right up to it what are you guys doing so Tex I definitely guess... felt the ship move right you can give me a perception. Yes, 19? for sure. Definitely. What the fuck is going on? I was in the room, calm room talking to people. Everything starts... Holy shit. Is that a face? Yeah. Uh, looks like it. Got a big old fist coming out of its head holding a hammer. Would I know uh, the name of this type of ship? Um, give me a history check or religion. With advantage? No. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Good question. <laughs> Gotta ask. Uh, nine. Um, you do not know the name, particular name of this one, but you do know this is a church, church of Morden. You've never been to this one before, but you've been okay. to ones like this. Okay, I go ahead and relay that information to the, the team. So we're dealing with a church. Of I... mer- uh, of a uh, mortal, something like that, right? More than mm-hmm. more than dinner. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> it seems pretty. I hate to say this, man, because it seems like it's your whole thing. It seems kind of dead, and that's the most tactful way I can put that. Let's let's check first. All right. So how are you? you yeah. You, you, you guys the getting way. off the ship, or what are you doing? Can we park in the mouth? You are parked right next to it, like docked, pretty much right on it. You got to hop off, and you can head into the entrance for sure. Oh. What are you doing? Gordon's rushing in. Tex is following very slowly behind. This right. sort of stuff spooks him. I guess Tiogin would too, if everyone else is. Okay, whoever wants to come in, put your players into the new map. I think I'm good. Uh, I think, I think Jay is going to take a nice nap in case <laughs> someone needs to get the ship to mock speed in five seconds. <laughs> think, think, think. We've never gone to a place that has immediately backfired and started hurting us. That oh, ship once. that that ship the that ghost crashed that possessed us. Uh, the sh- the robot that crashed into us. You know, no, no, no. Remember, we're yeah. good. Remember the last time Jay went into a mysterious space building with exhaustion? Mm, don't think it was too fun. Uh, <laughs> Roll twenty. Let me, from this can only end mysterious well. Mysterious space building. Brilliant. It's a technical term. like, man, I'm on board here, Jay. If you want to go in, it's fine. I got the help. Go I can get go us out of here. Go in. Jay is, Jay is passed out in his room. He, he knocks on your door. He's like, hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go in? Door and say, like, hey, uh, this dwarf guy's talking about some sort of crazy The crew thing. went on board here. If you want to go on right now. If... I'm a dragon. What the fuck is that? I mean, I got the helm. I'll, I'll sit in the helm ready to go if you need it, but... I don't think I... What if he is in its finest? Well, then I'll teleport you right back on. I'll have Timmy on the teleporter. I can't seem to drag myself in if someone else can do that for me. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Pop, drag you in. I don't know what the hell was going on there. It just wouldn't let me. Well, it seems like the DM really wants I'm me to get on the I mean, mind. Stop pulling me to the center. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm staying. I am behind everyone. Here. There you go. And I guess, I <laughs> guess Moral. Jay can hop Texas in. Texas taking point. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Jay? Jay is a Jay is a very sensible person. Jay will eventually, after a much nagging, get on board. All right. So, let's go with 
Um, let's go with whoever has the highest dex gets to go first here. Yay! Unless you guys maxed out your dex while I'm not looking. I did. Uh, Mine's at 8. I got a plus 3 to dex of 16. I've got a dex of 12. Beat that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're giving uh, only Thord in a run for his money. Uh, well, Jay will um, uh, put up the hood on his cloak and stealth. Alright, roll me a stealth, please. I still have exhaustion, right? You do. Alright, well, good thing I have the cloak that uh, discounts exhaustion. Or discounts disadvantage. Uh, 15. Yeah, nice. You feel like you're pretty damn stealthy here. Alright. I'm gonna stealth down. Okay. Ooh. Oh, ooh, is that a dead man? Jay's gonna... I'm just going to investigate this dead All right, man. you can roll me an investigation. Hmm. You know, maybe I should call the others over to this dead man. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jay will, um, before investigating, we'll look around and make sure there's no... Uh, what's yeah. that? What's that right there? Uh, more. Do- oh, what's that right there? Hold on. Oh, <laughs> Jay no. has bigger issues. <laughs> no, investigate the dead body. <laughs> mm, maybe it's time to leave, guys. <laughs> I'm walking um, on a grid board here. I, I don't feel safe. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yo, guys, I feel like uh, someone needed to make me flat dex ability check for speed. I don't I don't trust in these things. All right, are you um, relaying anything back? What are you doing? Uh, yeah, just, just going to move back and let them know of the... Uh, uh, yeah. There's just two dead bodies and some sort of spore things. Maybe rocks, I can't quite tell. We have to help them. Do we? <laughs> the dead people? Do Jay will we? How do we help the dead people? Oh, what <laughs> kind of people are they? They like dwarves or yeah, humans or He racist? We should help anyone, but I'm really good at dead. Investigate. Yeah, it's like, this is, <laughs> I'm walking all right. back. Alright, Jay, Jay's going to check. Jay's still, Jay's still not going to check this guy out. Jay's, a, Jay's main concern. He's a, he'll motion for everyone to follow him, but Jay's going right. to just... Uh, Stand right, in front of the text, right? All right. So, uh, Jay's gonna stand like right here in case that those spores come to life. No problem. I'll show well, you. We don't have the snapping a little right bit now. here. Are those spores, by the way, or are those rocks? Like, You're not tell. close enough to really. But it's giving off heat. So what are you guys gonna do here? Snapping. Uh, Yo, who Jay wants? Thor is. Well. You can tell that's a dead dwarf. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Can I see how long he's... Or can I estimate how long he's been dead? Uh, how he med- died? Medicine check, please. 18. Uh, sword. Sword to mm-hmm. the neck. Was this recent? Um, mm, probably a couple hours. Oh, sh- couple oh hours? shit. Oh, yep. shit. Uh, so they're probably still on board. Whoever killed them, don't clanky ass that don't make so much fucking noise. <laughs> <laughs> um, you want to go touch that rock, Jay? Jay will move on over. Uh, this you can take her place. You can go touch that. <laughs> this is he's closer. More of heat like lava rocks here that you see so are you gonna move before i move because i'm not moving in front of you operation meat sealed is in full effect here you bastard i'm just Um... step back behind you as well (laughs) jay Jay make a medicine check on this guy see what certainly can go for um Ooh, a whole nine. Well, you can definitely tell this guy's dead from some type of slashing <laughs> you weapon. <he's> dead. <laughs> some right. type of slashing weapon. Not really sure wh- how or how long he's been dead. As always, Dre, you tend to be a fountain of insight. Mm-hmm. Oh, hold on. I might have gotten worse. Hold on. I should have made that with disadvantage. Hold on. Let's see. What's the... 11, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, Jay is going to uh, carefully slide... Mm, carefully slide in between those rocks. All right, so you see that, and you see that, and you see that. 
can I see like anything that is this place lit up or is this dark? Um, the molten lava there is creating enough light to see see around, and there are some glowing rocks that have been put around there, so you can see a little. Okay, bit. good. That does affect me because um, I know everyone else has dark vision, but I do not. So, uh, I don't have dark vision either. Hey. Hey. Uh, one of the um, underprivileged class or races. Let's go. I'm um, pretty sure they hand out dark vision like candy to every single race. They really <laughs> do. Jay is going to look at these. Was going to move like here and then look at these rocks. What, what these rocks do and what the rock do. Okay, these rocks. Actually, why don't you roll me a perception check, please? Oh, sure, man. No problem. 17. Ooh, okay, baby. there is movement. Good lord. Down. Oh, 15. <laughs> Fucking hell. Cheat codes right there. Wait until I got expertise. Yeah, percent. there's movement. You saw a no, shadow move somewhere around these rocks. Not sure exactly okay. where, but there's... These are loose, bigger boulders that have been moved here and... Uh, you know, there's a lot of mining that from these inside this asteroid. So it might have been a, a cave that's been blocked up to the left and right. You're not really sure. I know dwarves love their miners. Get it out, leave. <laughs> um, Jay is going to maneuver back and just uh, uh, just go call it, squeeze on through and call it softly to, te- to the gang. Uh, something's moving up up ahead. Just letting you guys know. Be on the ready. So I'm back here. Um, and as you do, moving by is a drow. <gasps> yo, does drow look evil? Uh, drow look evil. Inside, hey, yo, drow, you evil? <laughs> we, hey, yo, hey, yo, dog, you good? Every drow we fought in this campaign <laughs> has been evil. 13? Uh, he looks like a standard drow. What kind of insight do you need? There's a bunch of <laughs> dead bodies around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the same with Listen, it stab never... and slash. Or... I'm, I'm staring at come drow. along as well. I really need can to. Can I like... get like a? Can I make a stealth check and perception chip as of well? Of course just you can. Of course you. We can. don't uh, know whether or not these drow are evil. So my could stealth be... is a natural <laughs> one. Oh my god! Oh, really? Tex, I need really you to tell me what really you, is what you did. It's a natural <laughs> twenty. Wow! What you did know, you do? Like, you how can did see you... him seeing you. <laughs> What did you do? So, uh, as I sort of make my way through that corridor, I just fucking punt that poor dead dwarf's head with its helmet still attached down the corridor, just clank, oh, yeah. clank, 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 clank. And I see the drow, and yes. I recognize that fucker to be one of those guys with the insignias on them from the Illithid army. Am I wrong? No, you see that. You see him have the symbol of Cyric on his breastplate. Say, oh shit, that's not a friendly drill, Jay, Jay, and Jay, Jay! He sees <laughs> you, and I need you to roll for initiative. Hey. <laughs> yep. Now that's that's the. Oh, oh man. man. <laughs> Good God. That could not have gone worse. Thornton, what are you doing? Uh. I'm gonna start blasting. Let's see. Hey, man, don't Five, take my thing. <laughs> 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, so he is. 33 feet away ish. Um, I guess we'll do the tried and true uh, guiding bolt. Uh, at third level, does a 16 hit? Uh, 16 hits. Okay. That is 28 damage. Do you want to make this lethal? Oh, that's an overkill, I see. <laughs> I do not want to make it lethal. Okay. So, how do you not make this lethal? What do you do? Describe it. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna just go for the shoulder, with okay. the right shoulder, not near the heart. Okay. 
and he spins around, he lands on the ground, and he is unconscious right now, but not doing uh, death saving to us. Okay. Who is next? I guess we're out of initiative. <laughs> that was it? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> wow. Uh, quick, we need to question him. Uh, Jay will um, quickly move past them and see if there's anyone else around. Are you, are you stealthing? Um, uh, sure. All right, roll stealth. <laughs> now that you ask. Eleven. Okay, so you run over to the body. The Dangerously body. close to a nat one there. <laughs> Fucking you're gonna really use all the good luck we had early rolling those twenties and nineteens. Hey, at least we didn't crash the ship. That's a way more expensive. Okay. It really is. What the fuck is that? Those are the rocks that are glowing. Oh, okay. Those are the glow. I was rocks. gonna say they looked like something else. <laughs> what were you gonna say they looked like? <laughs> okay, there is a they... drow to your left, Jay. And now we're back in initiative. So great. So Kurgan, you're up. Okay, I guess I'll move a bit forward over here. Um I d I don't know what I'm gonna do next. Um I was expecting combat, and now that plan has just gone out the window, so... Uh, I guess... Is this guy here, like, knocked out? Is that the one? Yeah, he's knocked out. The one okay, over here, here just Jay knows about right here. Okay, I'm you know, gonna with something, go so over know, here, and... I think I'm also yeah. gonna stealth a bit closer, so, like, over there-ish. Like, around here. Perfect. Okay. And do you want to do anything there, stealth or hold an action? What do you want to do? No, I just I'm just gonna like walk up there with like my uh gruel great sword in my hand and okay. just stealth up if that's okay. You got it. Give me a stealth. Here you go, stealth up. Okay, seventeen. Okay. Seventeen, you're pretty stealth. Alright? Sweet. And Jay, you did movement, but you didn't do an action. Um so have I been spotted? Um, no, because it's not my turn yet. <laughs> so, yes, right. he, he sees you, but no action. Okay. Also, well, I haven't had my turn yet, so... Yeah, yeah, you're, you're still... You time, Jay. Alright, I got... Well, if I have my action, um... I'm gonna use my action, if, if I use my movement, I'm gonna go right there. Okay. Like, it just right into his face. Okay. And the yeah, yeah, eyes bright. Unknown corridor. Right. Yeah, yeah, what's going on in here? Oh, yeah, let me get you... 60 other drow. <laughs> yeah, the... I'm, I'm waiting for it. Trust me. Listen, I got. Listen, I got. I'm fresh on key points, dog. I got so many bonus action dodges. My fireballs are ready. <laughs> All right, that's what you see. Um. Okay. Uh, more dead people. Uh. All right. That's that's he'll he'll actually move so that the other people have a shot at him. <laughs> Okay. Cax, you're up. What are you doing? So considerate. I guess I'll move down to here, just to sort of fall in the crowd in my loud-ass cowboy boots. Uh, and just see that guy there, and... Hmm. Do I try to charm him? Uh... Are we are we technically fighting it? Well, this is important just now for guy out. So. Yes, but him. Are we fighting? Yeah, I think we are. Well, I think he's gonna fight you when it comes to his turn. So. Yeah. Okay. Just I just had to ask. You know, sometimes it can't hurt. I'm gonna go ahead and hex him. Alright, so he is hacked. My bonus action. Yep. For uh, disadvantage on ability checks made with specific ability, this one's going to be. Charisma. Const what? 
<laughs> Charisma. Useless. <laughs> I might do that and then charm person about that. Uh, but, uh, just say, uh, Constitution. Got it. And then I'm gonna Eldritch Blast him twice and just shoot him in the fucking chest. Alright, go for it. Hit. 26 to hit. Miss. 13 to hit. And I, what? Oh, man. I mean, enough time to say my thing to Ben Luck there. Okay. Uh, wait, I don't have the page. Be 10 force damage plus 1 d6. So 11. Okay. Yeah, do you not have Agonizing Blast text? I do. That's, that's it does not, it, right? Nope. Oh, what? I do have Agonizing Blast, so it should be plus 5 to that. So, so total of 16. 16. Yep. What the fuck? Why is okay. That? So your Eldritch Blast just slams into him as he's eyes wide open as Jay runs right by him. All right. And it would be me. All right. He is not. I'm, actually, I want to give him a freaking wisdom saving throw here. Let's, let's do that because he is not happy here. Let's see what we got here. Wisdom. Now it has to go. What the fuck? Well, all right. So he's going to go into the So he's going to go up to... You, Jay, you're right there, and he's just gonna take a swing at you with his short sword. Come on, twenty-two. Nice. Uh, yeah, that hits. Nice. And nine damage. All right. I'm Good. going to use my reaction and use Stone's endurance. And you um, minus by. Um, minus that by. So uh, like, hey, it worked. Seven. So total right, two, two points of damage. Okay. So your Ooh, skin... I don't know if I can continue this play. Yeah. Boom. All right. It is now... Thornton, you're up. This took like a third of Texas health. Okay. Let's see. Hey, I'm a man. Uh, <laughs> I stay in the back for a reason. I know what I'm about. Okay. Let's see. Five, ten, two, twenty. Okay. Uh, ball lightning does a 12 hit. No, this is all right. That's it. (laughs) 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 You're good. You're up. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. Um, (laughs) it was a cantrip, so I mean, is that okay? That much lost there. Well, uh, Jay's dealing with that guy there. I suppose I could help out. I think. Yeah, Jay I'm gonna help this. out. But if you want. What? Yeah, he doesn't look like he's. Yeah. He does... does he look bloodied from the 15 yes. damage? Yes. All he right. Looks okay. Already. Way, way past right. bloodied. I'm gonna move up here. Instead oh. of my uh, sword, I'm just gonna get my. Uh, knuckle dusters, which I haven't used in a long while. Okay. And yeah. try to non-lethally just knock him out. Okay, go for it. So that is a 16 to hit. That hits. That is 6 damage. Okay. Still up? Still up. A couple of his teeth okay, well, are flying out. Okay, an 18 to hit. Hits. That's a 7 damage. You so make, that's a 13 make it lethal? total. No, non-lethal. Okay, he's out. Seeing stars. You see, are you using the uh, the brass knuckles all the way from the Aethys? Yeah. Yeah. Man. I mean, I didn't. I don't want to kill the guy. I, I thought we wanted to I talk know. to him. I know, but man, I think that's a good. Bring up the Let's hand go axe back. The bar and like that's. Ooh. We're you guys are out of initiative, so we're we're gonna hold well, the same shoot. initiative. So like, what do you guys yeah, want to do? I'm just gonna. Um, well, Let's start with them when we down this way. Down. Yeah, they're not making death saves, so I think it's time to just continue investigating. Uh, Jay right. will enter stealth again, I guess. Actually, you know what? Tex will tie them up as we leave. Okay. Oh yeah, freaking! I knew you're intelligent. Tex, okay. It's pretty smart. You tie them up. Ah, uh, all right, cool. Just, just to make sure. Just, even if they're still breathing, just to make sure. Uh, twenty-three for my stealth. As All right, you are And I, I'm falling behind, and I'll give you my stealth. 22! Oh my god, yo. Nice. Heckin' I guess I, I didn't take all the luck. 
You guys want to watch our back? <laughs> so you guys are I'd creeping sure. along this cavern. Uh, here. You're in your, your clanky ass in the I steel <laughs> greaves there, Thor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being as quiet as I can. Quiet as I can. It's clang, clang, quiet. clang. <laughs> and I kicked a guy's head across the floor. <laughs> Jay, roll me know. a perception. Uh, I was about to say, yo, this tunnel go on forever. Natural one for 16. You should oh, yeah. nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, hmm. Christ. All right, well. Natural one for 16. <laughs> Good if lord. If we had a rogue in the what? party, they'd go natural one, but actually it's a 26 or something. I don't yeah. have, like, Still advantage or something somehow. Like, how is your... Bonus I, that high. Freaking um, the, uh, the DM the decided to give me a, decided to give me yeah. eyes that give me a flat bonus to my perception when I'm already a high wisdom and have proficiency in perception. I uh, forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, he's got, I mean, a, yep. he's got a magic item that does that. Yep. Plus seven to all perception checks, BB. All right, you guys. I should have so, taken that for myself. With your passive you know, perception, where you're at right now, you hear a banging like metal. Something's banging metal. Two people are getting it on, they're banging? Is that... Thornton, are you sleeping with someone back there? <laughs> um, like, uh, someone's hammering an anvil? Yeah. Almost. Almost. An Yo, anvil. somebody get hammered without Tex? <laughs> without Fireball himself? Brilliant. Oh man, that inhale is just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you see a massive How form. How big is this room? And oh, damn. you see, Jay, there is a bunch of drow are trying to remove this anvil off of the ground. And in the middle of them, is a biggest mind flare you have ever seen. It is as big, he is as big as you are. In fact, he looks like he could be related to you. And oh my god, is this the one cousin that married that mind flare? And he looks up to you and he's like, Oh, we're stealth, we're, we're stealth. stealth, we're stealth, uh -huh. we're stealth. Oh, okay. 23, shit. 23. We're stealth. Yeah. Right. 23 stealth. Go ahead. Let's, let's so, hold on. That run is, out, sweet. Don't that, stay in the same that, phone. That guy, um... That is a, a, de uh, a dwarf that is bleeding out. Looks to be dead. Alright, and that guy is the one that I seems familiar? Yes. Is that, like, actively, like, for, can I tell, does he have tattoos on his body that mark him as a member of my tribe? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, I will nudge uh, Tex, point at um, the one with tattoos, and do a slice throat. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna my thumbs up. I'm gonna cast greater invisibility on myself. Okay. And, and uh, I'm gonna sneak in. Jay will um, uh, lift his hand up uh, for everyone behind him, and then um, he's doing that. Dash again. Right. Sound good. Mm -hmm. And he will, Jay will point at the one Goliath. Yep. And, um, uh, Jay is going to wait for Tex's signal. If Tex, if Tex does not do anything within the next, like, 12 seconds, Jay is about to rush in. Oh, I got a plan, don't worry. So that's two times. So it looks like they're trying to remove this anvil off of this forge, these two drow. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You've given me people next to each other. Oh, <laughs> you fool! <laughs> uh, as in my, my greater invisibility is now okay. I'll mark off one of my ten turns. Oh shit! I'm casting a spell. Got to roll the d20. What did I get there? Twelve. All right, we're good. Didn't surge. We're good. <laughs> I am up to 
eight now on the dim ma wild magic surge. Oh, it's getting high. <laughs> Move myself a little more this way. And then I'm going to cast myself a nice, juicy fireball right here. On all three of them. And I believe that should definitely function as a sick ball. Right, am I wrong? You guys got, you guys going to see that one out? As, no, uh, I don't think so. Yeah. A big old fireball just erupts and blasts those three. Oh, man. Okay. For 17 deck save for 31 fire damage. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So roll. So he needs a deck save? Yeah. All right. So that is good to know because holy shit, that could be bad. Yeah. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Ooh, my okay. God. Okay. Okay. So that's him. All right. Okay. <laughs> It takes Just 15 so fire has some competition. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, I need to check his... We need to do some tests on his saving throws. <laughs> Can't be good at everything, right? Drow fails. Take 31. Okay. So... <laughs> you just toast these the drow. The drow are dead. Dr these drow are toast. <laughs> oh, and he turns around. On he takes he just what? evaporated. 15 points of fire damage. Okay, 15. Surprise <laughs> round's over. He looks at you, Tex. He I'm invisible. Not with, even with a spell? Greater, Greater invisibility, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Greater invisibility. Nice. Okay, so he he's like looks around, and he's like, I can tell you guys are in here. No yeah. one's going to leave here alive. Except oh, me. Shit. And this mist is starting to... <laughs> Form around him. In the beginning, there were five crystals of creation. They were scattered to the far reaches of wild space and protected by guardians. One such guardian was Belenac, an ancient black dragon. Killed for his knowledge by the Elithid and Milky, he placed his consciousness in an orb and placed it on the ship. Now, his adventurers search for the other crystals before they fall into the wrong hands. 